Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, I'm Jen and I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video and come shopping with me. So today's video is actually a shop with me at Winners. I decided since around here, it's very rare that all of our Christmas decor just kind of shows up. It's spread out through the month of November and it's the end of October right now and we have a little bit but the past year and a half, like really our Christmas decor at Winners has been very sparse and I want it to be able to take you along a few times this season to share with you our um, decor for Christmas 2021. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running into Winners today to check out what holiday goodies they have in store. And I thought I'd take you along. If you enjoy home decor, shopping, lifestyle, and daily vlogs, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you're not already a member of my family here on YouTube, the bell notification so you're notified when I post new content. This coming November, I'll be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then sometimes I'll have a bonus video during the week. So that's the importance of pressing that notification bell so you are able to receive notification when I post a bonus video. No further ado, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna run into winners and we're gonna see what holiday goodies they have in store this Christmas 2021 season. <music> Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep so here we are at Winners. My Winners does not have a large selection of Christmas items, but I wanted to show you what they do have before they sell out because I find with a store like Winners, you have to get it while you're there because they only get one or two of each item. This countdown calendar was adorable. They had one of them and it was $16.99, which I thought was a great price. One thing that I noticed that Winners always has a lot of is snow globes, and they did not disappoint this year, although I don't tend to buy a lot of the snow globes there because they are relatively expensive, um, especially for snow globes, but I did really like this Nutcracker one, but it was $29.99, and I really liked that Believe and Ho 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 sign. The ornaments, there's always a ton. There's like literally a whole wall of just ornaments, but most of them are breakable, so I tend to stick to shatterproof. And that Joy marble sign was so nice. Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you. Uh, I really liked that joy sign. It did light up. I think it was 29, but I can't quite remember. This donut, like stacked donut ornament that was glittery and sparkly was so cute. And I love bottle brush trees, but honestly, $14.99 for that one was a little ridiculous. As well as this gingerbread house, $40. No, you can stay there, gingerbread, as much as I love you. These ornaments were so cute. There was three of them, they were $8.99, and they were very woodland themed, which, you know, I kind of regret not getting now. Again, more ornaments. We have tons of those. A lot of the ones that look like hand-blown glass, they ranged in price from $5.99 to $8.99, and I love that coffee and donut one. I think it's super cute. Lots of trees, lots of trees, and again, lots of trees. They had this um, tree looking like, uh, I don't even know what to call it, with Christmas balls on it. $30? No thank you. I feel that that could be a good DIY with some garland and some inexpensive Christmas balls. Love that red tree, but for $19.99 it was a little out of my price range. Isn't this how it's 
I really noticed this year with the decor at Winners is there's a lot of the natural elements. So a lot of wood tones and wood ornaments or decor, things that look like metal, marble, natural stone, and Santa's express train that lit up was super cute and looked like cement, but it was really lightweight. So I'm noticing a lot of the natural elements for decor this year. Let me know down in the comments if you're noticing the same in your stores. snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph all across the town Play it with me under the mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake and then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house Okay, so I saw this, what I thought was a sign And I thought it was cute but then I realized it opened up and it is this gorgeous advent calendar with these little boxes. It was $39.99, which I do think is an okay price for what it is. Merry Christmas Day. They had lots of advent calendars that you hang on the wall that are felt and made with fabric. They're really cute and they all pretty much ranged at the $16.99 mark. Always lots of pillows at Winners. They ranged from $24.99 to $29.99, which I think is a little out of my price range when it comes to pillows, but they are really nice and I loved these plaid ones. Oh, I don't know. Merry Christmas Day. I love Christmas. Hi everyone, welcome to the haul portion of today's video. So I went shopping at Winners and I really hope that you enjoyed watching this. I was thinking about waiting until the mid-season to film it because honestly my store... I was thinking about waiting until a little later to film this because honestly my store doesn't have a lot of things out right now and I decided no because what I find everywhere this year that is as soon as you see something you need to buy it because before you know it it's gone off the shelves and nothing sticks around anymore so I am going to show you what I found in hopes that you might be able to find something similar if not the same item at your winners winners is a Canadian store similar to home goods in the US so you're gonna find a lot of the similar type of items at winners that you would find at HomeSense, I mean at Home Goods in the States and at HomeSense in Canada. We just don't have a HomeSense locally. I really wish we did. And I'm hoping in November to get to one, but that's not a guarantee. So if I do, I'll definitely take you shopping there as well. And if I buy anything, show you what I get. But, so let's focus on what I've picked up at Winners this year. Now, when I did the Shop With Me portion of this video, I had already purchased a few things. I tend to do the Shop With Me parts uh, when the store's quiet, so there's not as many people around <laughs> when I take out my camera. So, anyway, you might not see some of these items that I share with you in the shopping part of the video, 
but I did get them at Winners. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually something I recently just picked up. It's this really sweet passed up pink gingerbread house. Now my plans for the kitchen and dining room are kind of a gingerbread, gingerbread, I can talk. <laughs> my plan for the kitchen and dining room is kind of like a Santa's gingerbread workshop, bakery, like along those lines, you know, candy canes, gingerbread, traditional, typical kitchen, dining room decor. But um, I, I thought this would be really cute to add to it. It does light up but it needs batteries. <laughs> okay, It does light up, it needs batteries, so I'll have to get some of those. But I thought it was really cute. It was $25, $24.99, so I thought it was a good price. Not like, not uh, inexpensive, but not ridiculously overpriced either. The next thing that I ended up finding was this really cute ornament for Madeline's gift this year. It is this beautiful ballet dress. It was $3.99. It's just shimmery and sparkly and gorgeous and she's gonna love it. You would have seen this on the shopping part. I ended up getting this. Um, it lights up. I think it needs batteries as well. That seems to be a constant theme. <laughs> this heart and it hangs. I thought it was really cute. That was twelve, $12.99. I ended up getting this. I shared this in the part of the shopping. Um, it is wood, marble, and it says joy. I love it. I cannot wait to use this. It's real marble on the bottom and it was only $12.99, which I thought was a great price. <laughs> the next thing I found were the Red Ray Don Merry Christmas towels for the powder room on the main floor. They were $9. Nope, $12.99. I thought they were cute. And I like to get new hand towels for the bathroom down here every year because I find that they tend to get really um, dirty looking. I've been buying white. That's why I went with the red this year. Hopefully I'll be able to reuse them next year, but we'll have to wait and see. Yep. Ma'am. What's the thing that's just went in there? What? What's the thing that's... Oh, uh, you'll see in a second. That's not really a surprise. Ma'am, you don't like the chair. I can't raise my hand to the top. Yeah, hold on for that. Well, beautiful, Okay, I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this before, but I have a problem with bottle brush trees. <laughs> and I picked up two more. I, I just don't think you can have too many bottle brush trees. These were only $7.99 each. Now there was one there that was half the size and it was $14.99, which I won't pay for a small bottle brush, maybe for a big one, but these were $7.99. So I thought they were good. I got two of them. The next thing I decided this year to get the kids some flannel cotton bed sheets for their bed. And so when I saw these for Maddie, I thought they were perfect. They're these little ballerinas and what better type of bedding to get than ballerinas for a Nutcracker in Paris themed bedroom during the holidays. So they're pink with ballerinas. They were $29.99. So there's an up close of the ballerinas and they actually, I just noticed, have little snowflakes. So perfect for the holiday season and all winter long, we'll keep these on her bed so they keep her nice and warm. I found some wrapping paper for Madeline. So I'm gonna wrap some of her gifts in this. I love getting my wrapping paper at Winners. I just think that the patterns that you find are unique and you can't really find anywhere else and the quality of the wrapping paper is really good. The rolls are a little expensive, they're $5.99, but I love them. And the last thing that I ended up getting that was holiday Christmas related was the Christmas countdown. It's this wooden tree and it has this magnetic wreath that you put over when you're counting down the days till Christmas. I love it. It's like this green plaid. It was $16.99, which I thought was a great price. And I'm thinking we have a countdown that we put in the dining room already. So I think this one will go downstairs in the basement decor. So love it. And that's it. That's everything that I got from winners this Christmas season so far. If I shop any more or buy anything else, then I'll do a collective haul of all the different stores. Um, 
and share them with you. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments. I hope not to be doing too much more Christmas shopping, but honestly, I can't promise you that. I do have a Michael's shop with me in haul that will be posted soon and lots of Christmas clean and decorate videos. So please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of those. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during November and then December 1st, we start Vlogmas 2021. So I'm excited to take you along for the month of December. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all are having a fabulous day, evening, night, whenever you're sitting down to enjoy this video or staying safe. And as always, take care. We'll see you again really soon in another video. Bye friends.